We begin our editing by adding a new script element after this action description. So our cursor would go at the end of this uh, line after a hack a fresh trail. You now have some options. As I explained in the lesson on beginning your screenplay, you could go up to this Write Elements toolbar and click these buttons to add script elements. But most writers find that it's easier to do their formatting by using the Tab and Return keys, which on a Windows computer would be the Tab and Enter keys. Do you remember which of those two keys enters an action element? That would be the Return key, or on Windows it would be the Enter key. So, the other key, the tab key, must be what I press to enter a character queue. To confirm, just go up to this top toolbar and notice that the uh, character name is the style that's applied to this element I've just inserted. My character's name is Mark, so I begin by pressing the letter M and look what happens. A pop-up list displays lists of all existing characters, so I can click on any of those names to reuse it. But I want to use Mark, so how do I get Mark on that list? Easy. I just type it in the first time as a character queue. Now that name will be added to the list the next time it appears. Press return again, and I am ready to write words to speak. Press tab again, press an M, and we can confirm that uh, Mark has indeed been added to that list. But he would probably not be talking with himself, so I'll click Milton and then give Milton some words to speak. And let's say that they have a lot to talk about. It would be easy enough to continue pressing Tab, press M, select the appropriate name by clicking it, and then write some more words to uh, continue the dialogue. But there is an easier way to create dialogue between two characters. If you hold down the Shift key while pressing Tab, the software remembers which two characters spoke most recently and automatically goes back and forth between those two names. So, hold down the Shift key, press Tab, and with your very next keystroke, you can add the dialogue. Again, press Shift, Tab, write dialogue, and you can rock and roll back and forth between those two names very quickly, jam out a lot of dialogue. And look what else is going on. We've gone over a page break, which is indicated by this very discrete dotted line, and a page number. We're on page 8. The software automatically figures out the correct formatting at a page break, which is easy here. We have short blocks of dialogue. But what happens if we go up to uh, Mark's dialogue here, and we add a, a long soliloquy that would best be broken up at a page break? Screenwriter figures this out for you. The appropriate more is added at the uh, bottom of the first page, and then on the following page you see Mark and an indication that this is continued from the uh, preceding page. Now, let's go back to where we were working on the uh, dialogue before. Say that we are at the end of the dialogue and we want to press the return key. With your next keystroke, you could continue writing action description here. But what if you want a new scene heading instead? What would you press? You would press the return key. And this pops up the list of scene heading elements. Click INT to make this an interior scene. And look what happens now. Very similar to the character queue, this shows you a list of all of the existing scene locations. But again, we do not wish to use any of these. So all we have to do is type in the new location, which of course will be added to that list the next time we see that. I'll press return again. We get the pop-up list of times of day. I will click day. The scene heading is now complete. Your cursor is on a new line, ready for new action description, and that is how to enter new script elements into an existing script.